Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Rim World. Doing a little bit better at the moment, but to be totally honest, we were running a bit behind time, and this is going to come back and bite us soon if we don't get defenses, housing, all sorts of amenities organized, because quite frankly, we're not doing well enough at the moment. Now, it's not entirely our fault. We had uh, um, some bad events, let's say, but right now we need to catch up. Now we have four beds we have five colonists who doesn't have a bed at the moment we have beds sleeping spots for galga and grumpy and i think to be totally honest with you galga deserves the bed so we will delete his sleeping spot so the next time he sleeps he will sleep in a bed there and while I'm at it, I want to do a little planning here to get everything organized to make this place a little bit better, a little bit nicer to live in. And hopefully if we uh, if we get struck by a, another psychic attack or we have um, a large, um, if we have a large invasion of pirates or something like that, we're likely to survive. So what I want to do is, um, actually I will just... Um, actually end these mining orders is I'm going to want to put in some corridors in fact let's put that corridor in there we just cancel that dig order there and we will have um, from further some further sleeping areas here so five by five Five by five. Um, let's put it here. Five by five. Five by five. Okay, and that will um, enable us to have a bit more sleeping area. And I think we're also going to want one more here. In fact, we'll put the uh, door there, and we'll cancel those out. And the plan is for this this area here to be mined out, and we'll move the cur the the uh, the prisoners into this corner here. So the further mining will go along here. We won't connect that up just yet and down here and we won't connect that up just yet creating a loop around this I'm going to move the prisoners and I'll just put some plans in for now I'm just going to create a wall down here and a wall across here this bit will be mined out just cancel that there yep good okay this bit will be mined out this bit will be mined out and this bit will be mined out. Prisoners go in here, and this will become the living and eating area. So all the the food production will be moved into here. The tables, the chairs, everything there will be moved into there. By then, I'm hoping we'll have researched hydroponics or something like that, and we'll create one hydroponic area here, so we're producing food faster. And we'll have another room for various crafts, and bits and pieces like that. Just um, so these two areas here will then become um, our utility areas. The one thing I will want to put in um, separately from that is a crematorium, which I will probably put up here somewhere. And we will move these bodies and any new bodies we find into there. And actually, while I'm thinking of that, let's take chunks out of that dumping area because it's not a good location. Um, we'll put them down here instead and what I'm thinking down here is while I want um, the, the entrance to be up here eventually we don't really have much time to do that so I'm gonna put something down here um, to start off with I'm just gonna put a wall here just to block this off from the rest of the world and then later on we'll tunnel our way through here and set up some proper defenses up above so let's do that as well. We'll just put a 
um, a metal wall in for now and later on when we have the stone we'll put a proper stone wall in behind that to give us a decent defense and do we put a door in there yes let's put a door in there as well just a, a temporary measure we'll put a powered door in there and that way people can still come in and out but we've got defenses surrounding us all together which is going to give us a little bit of breathing space but it's not going to help us in the slightest if somebody comes and attacks us and actually while I'm thinking about that we'll put walls there and we'll put walls up here and security we'll put some sandbags across the top there and at the very least there we've got a simple and in fact we put a metal wall there and if we put sandbags there just to slow people down as they're walking through it we then got a, a an improvised little kill area our colonists can stand up here and shoot down the colonists can't stand really use the color being cover behind here and um, they'll be forced to uh, to come in or forced to move slowly at the very least by the sandbags which should give us a, a little bit of an attacking advantage it's not great but it's better than nothing and better than nothing is good enough at the moment I think so there's some plans let's get them in place we need another we need another bedroom at least so let's open up this bit of mining and we seem to be missing a power cable there so let's get that in um, it's also worth pointing out we're not producing enough electricity at the moment so let's get them going there we go we're not producing enough electricity at the moment so once this wall is in place the next thing I want to do is put some solar panels in and fairly soon after it would be a good thing if we put some batteries in somewhere but once we get this wall in place and once that oh what's going on here a psychotic muffalo and there's some more psychotic muffalo just what we needed okay guys two arms um does it still yeah why is it that okay that's why because it still considers Jono a colonist which I suppose is true in a sense let's all come up here and you guys can defend us against the uh, the muffalo okay you go there Gumpy you go there actually Gumpy you don't have a weapon at the moment do you equip that pistol and now go there Tigris you're the, yeah you're there that's good Barrow yeah, actually there, and Ichabod, yep, yeah, that's good. This needs a bit of cleaning up still, but uh, it's better than nothing. And it's going to give us a nice firing against these muffalo. There we go. And even better, we've got extra food for the pot. So where are the rest of them coming? Let's speed this up for a sec. Where are the rest of them? There they come. What are they doing? Standing, standing. Have we no have no? Okay, it looks like they changed their minds. Okay. Hmm. So let's have a quick look at our our prisoners. Jono, what are you looking? At? How are you feeling at the moment? Failed to recruit Jono. It's only a matter of time, to be honest with you. He's got a bit of cabin fever. He's not particularly happy, but he's been talked up by the warden. Um, Stomp. Not particularly worried about you, Stomp. I don't particularly want to recruit you. And Tara. Let's have a look at you. I do want to recruit you. I forgot to set it, but never mind. Um, you will be talked around soon enough, I hope. A trade ship is passing by. They are an industrial trader. Barrow, I have a job for you. Let's see what they have to talk. Let's not see what they have to sell. Oh, they buy uranium. Wonderful. There we go. There's a trade we needed. And let's have a look how we do our resources. We can actually use a bit of everything, really, couldn't we? So let's grab. Um, 
Let's grab a hundred of each. A hundred of those. And a hundred wood. That's going to make life a little bit easier. We've got, we've planted a plantation. Oh, come on. A hundred, hundred, a hundred. There we go. We've planted a plantation. We just need for it to come in. Uh, so we still got a load of more money left, so that wasn't a bad deal at all. Okay. Alright, so we're looking good. This is our tree farm. Nobody's got round to planting it yet. That it was a a, a, a boom rat exploding. If you if you were wondering what the explosion was, um, yeah, grumpy. I'm wondering if we've got you set right. Because what I'd actually like here is some researching done and you're not a good researcher really though are you so can you do something yes here we go if I'm gonna swap over you and Ichabod so you are now our gardener grumpy and Ichabod I want you to concentrate on research for a bit there we go and that should move that was forwards Who have we got mining? Who's mining at the moment? Um, priorities are Gumpy and Barrow when he's not wardening and Galga when he's not constructing. Okay, that explains why we're not digging much, but Barrow should get back to it in a second. But nonetheless, we're chugging forwards, moving quite fast. We've got a little kill zone while I'm thinking about it. Um, it's always important to get these rocks out of the way and I almost forgot let's make ourselves a uh, storage zone for rocks so what we'll do is we'll put it just put it here and storage none of those no apparel we want you to do chunks we don't want you to do corpses so there we go all oh, Stones and um, slag that gets moved will get moved there. When you're done with this building, as you nearly are, I'm going to ask you to start building in here as well. We've successfully recruited Tara. Let's have a quick look at Tara while we can. Okay, so she likes doctoring. Uh, she's not particularly good at it, but that's good enough. She likes cooking. Do we want a second cook? Um, Tigress is getting better at cooking, but you're actually better at cooking than Tigress, so I think Tigress is going to become our backup cook. She needs a main task. Plant cutting is not good enough. Hauling is... Um, don't particularly like my... Don't, you don't mind growing. What should we do with you? Okay, you're a reasonable miner, so let's 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 move mining up your list of things to do because we've got a lot of that to do. You and uh, Tara, you are our cook, and considering how good you are at cook growing, you are our backup grower. So, if you're not cooking, you're growing, and you don't mind doing those. So we'll put those to three, and everything else goes to four so there we go you won't firefight you won't research but quite frankly I don't need you to do either of those and welcome to the team Tara let's get you a bed shall we um, because we're still digging them out I'm afraid you're gonna have to have a sleeping area at the moment but at least you're not sharing a room with anyone anymore so there you go Tara welcome to the team and we're still failing to recruit, recruit Jono, but very soon we're going to have another bedroom here. That's good. And what? Very soon we'll get that uh, straightened out. The trees are finally being planted. Well done, Grumpy. 
The bedroom is being filled out. We now have a, a light in that bedroom. A piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. Your colonists can feel it in the back of their mind, exhorting unspeakable acts. It must have an onboard AI persona with psychic projection ability, and this AI is not friendly. Design it, destroy it as soon as possible. Okay. Right, Tigris, what do you like? Because you've got the good gun. Right, you're fairly... You're fairly healthy at the moment, so where is this? Oh, this ship's crashed there, has it? Okay, let's move you up to here, say, and see this. I've never done one of these before, so this will be interesting. A roof support has collapsed because it was too far from any support. Oh, of course. Okay, let's just create a roofless area to avoid that from happening. So, um, create no roof region. Um, actually, we want all that too. And all that too. We'll worry about neating that up later on. And we might as well get all that in. And all that in. There's no need for a roof. What's happened is we've completed the circuit around. We've closed this area off. So the game algorithms have tried to create a roof. We don't need a roof there. But it's causing problems as we're digging into the side, so... There we go, that looks better. Let's worry about our... Strange alien device, or whatever it is. Bit of crash ship. Okay, I think I need you to slow down for a minute. Alright, Tigris. Okay, you're nicely within range there. In fact, so far, so I think I want you to pull back a bit. Let's pull back a bit. There, that's better. Alright, see what happens when we shoot that. Uh, might help if we also hit it. Yeah. As I said, it might help if we also hit it. All right, let's speed that up and see what happens when we find it. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Uh, trade ship, food trader, not interested. What are you? You're a scyther with a fire a f charge lance. Interesting. And you're being shot, and you don't seem to want to react. Oh, well, I can live with that. I'm quite happy with you being shot and not reacting. Carry on with that. We're just going to keep an eye on Tigris for a bit, make sure she doesn't... Mm, she's getting a bit hungry. What's happening here? Right, we've done that one. We know that one. We know that one. Okay, we're not interested in industrial traders just yet. Oh, that's been destroyed, is it? Alright, strong doors. Excellent. What do we want next? Um, hydroponics would be good. Mortars. Let's have mortars. I'm starting to think that... Uh, yeah, we've been too long without being attacked. It's only a matter of time. Hold on. Tigress, you go and eat. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everyone else. Or at least you for Actually, yeah. Let's grab everyone else. Draft you. And we'll go and deal with this up close. I think the colony can live without you guys for a little bit. So, Grumpy, you go here, and you attack this. Tara, you don't have a weapon, do you? So, grab yourself a weapon. Actually, what are you wearing? A button-down shirt. Let's get you something else. I have a jacket. Um, well, we'll deal with that in a sec. Um, Ichabod... And Galga, uh, you fire against this as well. Right, you guys should make short shrift of that. Who's right, Tigris is all right? She's sorting herself out. Right, stay you in. Oh, you're okay. You just need to eat and sleep. You'll be all right. Actually, you'll be all right in just a second. And Tara, 
There we go. Wear this jacket. Ah. Tara, wear this jacket. There we go, and then undraft you, and let's go and check on the other guys, because I think that's all we really need. Yeah, that's nearly broken. Oh, it looks like we got uh, dinner out of it as well. Excellent. Come on. That's it. Now I'll knock it out. This game needs something like a target range because until you get a decent level of uh, shooting, you're more or less useless. Oh, there, perfect. What have we got here? Oh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, you guys go back to what you're doing. And we have an AI persona core, some metal, some slag, and some silver. That's nice. Somebody will be along to pick that up and sooner or later, I hope. Right, you guys carry on doing what you're doing. A solo affair has begun. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, well, we've gone over 20 minutes, but let's just do uh, a few more small plans before we get going. Let's set up this room. Um, that room will want a lamp. It will want a bed. And it will want a door. And we will also want a power conduit. There we go. That's uh, somebody will pick that up in a minute. And I think we're going to set off the next bit of mining as well. Okay, orders mine those two bits there, and that will give us four rooms fairly soon. Um, as soon as that is done, Grumpy can have a bed, and Tyra will get one next. And once that's once that little bit of building is done, we'll put some solar panels in down here. And that will solve out a lot of our power problems. There we go. I think that's it for now. We're moving ahead. We've attended a few individual little problems. Some of them well, some of them not so. And uh, hopefully very soon we'll actually start having a thriving colony. We'll see over the next few episodes. Thank you very much. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been RoomWorld. Thank you and good night.